This conference will now be recorded. In this video, I am showing how to recover the password of a EC2 instance. Suppose if we are not having a PEM key, how we can recover the password? So the steps are here. First, we create an IAM role and I have to attach a policy to the role. And then uh, for that EC2 instance, I have to attach the role. And I am using system manager to run the commands. So we can see this instance I am having. So I am not having the key for this instance. So I am going to, uh, first step is, I am going to IAM and I am creating one a role. So I am clicking on roles. So I am going to create a role. So I am selecting here EC2. selecting EC2 here and we can see this EC2 role for AWS system manager I am selecting and I am creating the role so after that I have to attach a policy for this so I'm completing this so I am giving some name EC2 uh, recover, some uh, role uh, name I am giving. So I can see this role is there. <coughs> so I am going to attach one policy to this, add inline policy I am clicking. So I am going to select JSON, so I have, to, I have a, a policy file is there. So I am pasting it in YouTube comment session. So I'm copying this. So I'm pasting here. And I am reviewing the policy. And you can just give some name policy one. And I am going to attach this policy to this role. Now I completed two steps. I created a role and a policy I have attached to the role. So now I am going to EC2 instance. So I am going to AWS console going to EC2. And I am selecting the role, selecting the instance. So I am going to action. I am going to attach instance settings, attach a role IAM role option is there so I am going to select the role from here so you see to recover the role I am going to apply attached to this instance so now I am doing the next step system manager I am using so I am going to AWS so I am going to use system manager systems manager And I am going here in the left, we have an option, a run command option I have to give. So I am going to click on this run command option. And here I have to click this uh, command names are there. I have to click one, uh, two and three. So in the third section, uh, so there is option called AWS support EC2 rescue for Windows tool is there. So I have to select this. And here uh, we have a reset option or access option is there. And specify instance option is there. I am going to choose the instance manually. So the instance name will come here. So it will take uh, nearly five minutes to come here. So I am just pausing this video.
This conference will now be recorded. Okay, we can see within two minutes this instance name will appear here. I have to select this. And I am going down. I am going to click on this uh, run option. So this will the output it is in progress. It will the output will show within 22 minutes. This conference will now be recorded. So within one minute it will show like success and we have to click on this instance <coughs> ID we have to click. And we can see the output will show here. We have to select the output. And we can see the password is uh, showing in this link so I can select this link to retrieve the password so I'm going going to copy this link and I am uh, pasting here so we can see that uh, the password will show here so I'm going to copy this password so this is the new password I'm going to copy this password so I'm going to paste in notepad So then I, I am trying to log into this instance now. So I'm going to take the IP of my instance. So I'm going to AWS uh, EC2 instance I'm selecting. So I need the IP of my EC2 instance. So this is the server uh, which I am recovering so I'm just giving the pass taking copying the password so I'm going to use remote desktop must TSC I'm opening a remote desktop client so I'm going to connect to this instance it will ask for the username password pasting this password I'm going to log into the server so we can see that I am able to log into this instance with the uh, new password uh, thanks for watching this video